Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing a feeding routine today. How I feed all of my animals. Let's get into it. Outfit of the day, Crocs and burnt legs. And burnt arms. <laughs> we rode in the Jeep with the top off. And also I came outside and sat in the sun for 30 minutes. So I'm big burnt. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> let's start off with collecting feed. How about that? So I have all of my containers laid out on the well house little cooler that we have that we never use it's got like frozen meat that's probably been there for like three years i'm not even joking but let's get into it so first things first i know the chicks will need some feed i always flip them upside down because bugs tend to try to get into it I'm wondering if you have one of these feeders i fill up mine all the way to where the handle thing is on the inside if you know what i'm talking about like right here so that's the chicks chick starter so the big chickens odie and dolly and what the chickens that I have right now, my chicks, will be going into is layer petlets and layer crumble mix. The reason I have it mixed is because um, whenever you're taking them off starter, it's best to start them off on crumble and also introduce petlets. That way they get used to eating it. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll just move everyone on to just petlets. So we get that. And then I got like this little scoop like this at Mighty Dollar, but I usually use this one because I throw it out sometimes. But since I am putting it into their container, I am gonna use this Mighty Dollar. See, you don't have to buy expensive things for your animals. Mighty Dollar scoop that actually has measurements on the inside of cups. So I just come over here to the crack corn. It's not whole corn. It's cracked a good bit. About that much. And toss it in here. All right, there we go. So that's the chickens as far as the puppies go. So for the puppies, I use a old tea jug. I normally scoop about this much because maybe the other dogs may need some food, but they're usually already filled up. The puppies devour their food in one day. So that's the reason why I always say puppies food. The rabbit needs food today. So the rabbit gets a scoop with the small scoop, pour it into here and bring the scoop with me. But to get it, I'm gonna use a scoop. just sweet and I'm making a freaking mess. The good thing is if any of these animals get say the, the rabbit gets a piece of corn in here or the rabbit gets a piece of dog food none of the food that we feed will kill another animal. So that's the good thing. Rabbit bags out but we have another big bag in there but this is enough for him. He's only one. One bunny. And then I will get my flock party mealworms yes chickens love mealworms and at first i was very like ah i don't think i'll ever feed my chickens that but once i got it and fed it to them and found out that they love it i'm not going to deprive them of them just because i don't like worms or bugs but they're dead they're dried and what i do is i sprinkle some into the bigger ones sprinkle some they'll eat it out of it and then for the little ones i'll show you what i do with them but i normally just take that cup with me but also for the bunny the bunny just doesn't just get grain the bunny also gets timothy hay that looks like this so i get my pink bucket i don't give me one second hey what is it sorry the puppies are barking at that but i also get some Timothy hay for the bunny. And I just put it in one of these Fort Flex buckets from Tractor Supply. He loves Timothy hay. That's like now his majority of diet. For the longest time, we didn't feed him Timothy hay because he wasn't interested in it. But I think since old age took on, he's like really interested in it. There was a stink bug on that. So, as far as this goes, I put the bunny's food in here like this. Then the chicken feed, I stack on top of each other. Thank God these things are kind of stackable. I stack them on top of each other like this. Put the mealworms in there like this. 
dog food, carry it like this, and carry it like this. And this is how I look. Thumbnail. <laughs> and that will probably be the thumbnail. So I place all my feeders on top of this chicken coop because it has a place for it to sit down. I just grab it, take it to each animal, and feed every animal. You can see they need their water changed out. So that's another thing of my feeding routine that I also have to do is change out all the chicks' water. But I start off with Odie and Dolly when I feed because... I don't know, I just choose to feed them first because there's just two chickens and it's not as hard. So, I grab the water and look at the level of it. It's up to here, so it's good for another day, but it will need to be changed out tomorrow. And then I empty it and hang it back up. The inside of the coop to see if he needs any food on the inside. What I mean by that is inside their coop is another feeder. They have two feeders, I know, luxury. The reason why is because when they are down there, they don't come up here to eat. And it looks really good. And their water only has like a little bit of something, but I'll empty it out when I do the waters. So um, they're good for the day. But I'm gonna give them some food for the bottom area. They flipped over their little red trough that they have. Yeah, my dog gets along with the chickens. She doesn't bother them at all. She's always done this, got along with animals. So let me get this. Thing that and I do so is take care of the puppies because they're the next hardest thing to take care of because they jump all over you and check on their water to see if it needs to be changed out. More than likely it does. So the puppies' water was good and their food, I just filled up the container. So now it's time to move on to the chicks. Oh God, here we go. I start with the golden comets and yes, we got our light hung up. This one has a red one, this one has a white one. So at nighttime, it makes it easier to see the keyhole to lock it. It's locked right now, so I actually gotta go get my keys from the well house. I normally have it around my neck. But I stuck my hat on first today. Here's the boogers. I actually just got a sneak peek. And they're all inside the chicken house. So this should be interesting. And they normally are outside the run. But probably got a little pot. Hey girls. We don't want to. Need just water changed out of course. And some more food. Dumped it over. Okay. Let's get that settled. Alright so. we got the feeder. Come over here. Clean off the wood that it's on and seal it up. Normally distract them while they're everything else, but sometimes they're not hungry. Okay. As far as this water goes, I need to actually change, change it out because it's really gross. Watch out! I need to clean out their chicken coop this weekend. That's probably what I'll do. Let's see. Their feeder's good. It just needs to be shook out. There we go. All right. They're good. Just got to give them fresh water. Time to check on the other, on the other youngsters. Let's see how they're doing. It's 82 degrees in here. Even though they have the window open. I might need to leave the door open a little bit. Give them some fresh air. But... I am going to shake this out, give them some food, which they already have food, so they can't be hungry, but I might bring some more to fill that up a little bit more. It's kind of low. As far as water goes, the level's good, but I'm just going to empty it out. Okay, got the water changed out, and I think I decided that I'm going to close off the run and put these in there for a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean. So, because we don't have the run up for this one, they don't get as much fresh air as they do. They're not really out here right now. So that tells me that they're not really in the mood to be outside. They've been outside all day. So I'm going to close the little hole so they can't interact with these. And then, is it raining? Sounds like it, but it's not. <laughs> it's way too hot for that. But then I'm going to put the um, showgirls and silkies in here until the rest of the evening. Until probably about 8 o'clock or, or 7 for two hours and come back out here and put them back. So that's what I'll do. That way they get some sun. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got the showgirls and the silkies in here. Give them some time outside because they don't have a run. Got it blocked off so none of the golden comets can come out here because whenever I try to put all of them together, the golden comets try to bully them, I guess because they're furry and they're not used to seeing a chicken. That is furry, I don't know. But I took the water out. Gonna go change it out, give them some fresh water while they're out here, and leave them out here till about seven, and then take them back into their coop. That way they get some outside time. I think I'm gonna start doing this every single day until they get a run. So yeah, sounds like a plan. Um, and then I'll show you what I'll do next. 
So update while they're in the run. I went ahead and gave them fresh water because I love fresh water. I'm gonna leave the door open. That way it just airs it out some. It's very stuffy. But their window's open, but it doesn't seem to air it out that much. Since the Golden Comets are in here, I decided to go ahead and open up their window. I normally open it, but today I was like, well, they got their run. They can go outside if they, you know, want some fresh air. So I went ahead and changed their water. Then I gave fresh water to the outside run water. That way, when they're out here, if they're thirsty, they can, you know, get themselves some water. Also, I hung up that little glass window, and I'm going to get some stained glass paint and paint it. But right now, it's just a little glass window. i got to cut the zip ties off. But, yes, I think they enjoy the outside. Don't you, girls? And boys. There's a little boy over there. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, you do that would upset me. Stop it. So, yes. Now, I just got to get all my feeders together and then go feed the bunny. See if Duke needs food and water and sassy. And look at this azalea. Somebody told me it was an azalea bush. It has gotten so much fuller since I last filmed. Look at it. It's so beautiful. And also, before I forget, give them some mealworms because they love mealworms. Y'all watch this. If y'all hear that, uh, 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 uh. My crocs got wet and they make an awful noise. <laughs> girls! Girls, you want a mealworm? Mealworms all around. <laughs> they go crazy for some mealworms. Don't y'all? The showgirls and silkies, they like them, but not as much as they do. You want any? And if y'all want some, I'll just sprinkle some right there and then y'all can just hash it out. They're so messy, I swear. All right, and then I'll go over here and give them some in the run where they can just poke around. They'll find them. <laughs> They'll find them. They will. All right, let's go take care of everybody else. Oh, they're dead. Look, look, look. Like we can spread our wings. He's definitely a rooster. Look at him. He's like, can you calm it down, little girl? I will beat you. <laughs> That's what a rooster says, in my opinion. All right. You hear my crocs? <laughs> Make a god-awful noise when they get wet. All right. Time to go take care of the rabbit. See if the other dogs need some food. Because they're already fed. All right. <laughs> What's he said? There you go, boy. Come to see hay that you love. He's got some left over. So come give me my feed. All right. All right, so I took care of the bunny. I got his, I got his grain thing filled up and cleaned out his poop section where he poops out and put some hay in it, fresh hay. Yeah, I do that all the time because it gets filled up so easily. But now I'm gonna show you what to do. Mm, stupid camera always falls over. All right, so uh, like I said, I keep all the containers flipped over. I'll throw all the rest of the food outside. Let's get a hold of it. Flip the bucket upside down, take my shovel, flip that upside down. Like I said, if I got like little crumbs or something, toss it outside, flip this upside down, flip this upside down. It got left outside for like two days. So nobody remembers where it was. Flip this upside down, this upside down. These two feeders are already shook out. That upside down, and then close up all the feeders. So here it is, all organized. This is here because I was using it as a tripod while I was showing you guys all the stuff that I do. Oop. But this bucket normally goes on to this bucket. Sweep that away. I'll sweep up this weekend. Ba -da -da. And ta da, ta da. And yes, I sweep the ground this weekend, but you can't even tell because I spilt some freaking chick feed today. And I gotta throw this bag away. Uh -oh. The rabbits. Food. Let me right here. That way, I know tomorrow that I need to open up the new bag on the inside. Last thing is to lock the warehouse door and shut it. There we go. And then find my keys. There they are. There's the the key that I've been looking for. <laughs> and then. Since they're already in here, I'm going to lock them up. There we go. Got them locked up. All, right, all the animals are taken care of. Now I can sit out here and enjoy watching them. Or go inside. 
the heck? <laughs> or go inside. And then I will put them up at about 7 o'clock. So I got an hour more to go outside. And then I stick them back. So cute. So there's my feeding video. I'm sweating. It is so hot outside. I think it's like 80 degrees. But that's normally how I do my feedings. Now, I may do them a little bit differently during the week or something. If somebody don't need no food, you know, blah, blah, blah. It changes up. But for right now, that's my feeding routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time on Abby Scoop. Bye.